This video is to show you how to use the spatial join tool. In this case, we would like to find out how many EPA sites, as you can see throughout the map, are in each of the counties without counting by hand and looking at the map. To start, we start with the county because that's where we want the data to join to. Joins and relate, join, and then up above, instead of join attributes from a table, change that to join data from another layer based on spatial location. EPA sites was entered automatically because it's the only other layer that I have checked. I unchecked the others. You may have to scroll and select the EPA sites. We'll leave two as it is. We're joining points, the EPA sites, to polygons, and we do not need to summarize. We do need to give it a unique name, and in our case, I'm just going to highlight the name and say counties wa spatial join, because that's what it is, and save. It's going to the same location as my other data, which is good. I say OK. Several seconds later, a new layer is added to my map. I right click that layer, open the attribute table, shrink it down so that you can see it. And I have a count field, count underscore field. That tells me that there are 34 EPA sites in Whatcom County. And it also tells me in this section of Whatcom County, there are zero. Remember, some counties have two parts to them, and some even have three, such as San Juan, although there are no EPA sites. That is how you do the spatial join. You can turn off the attribute table, and we're done with this step.